Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and in today's video we're gonna be doing this cute little toddler hairstyle. Obviously you could do this on older kids but I just thought it looked really cute on my toddler who has very short hair. So I wanted to share this with you guys in case you need some inspiration for some cute hairstyles and let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I don't know about your toddler but mine has to have a snack and something to keep her occupied so I went ahead and made her some eggs as well as got her little phone so that she could have something to do while she's getting her hair done. She wanted to crack the eggs so I let her do that just to keep her happy and I'm gonna go ahead and scramble up these eggs and get her ready to start getting her hair done so she can sit still and be content to sit still for a good amount of time. So she's got her snack, she's got her phone and she's ready to sit still for a little while and let me tackle her hair. The products that I'm using are the Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. I'm also gonna use the Emerge My Everything Buttercream, Coconut Oil, and First Touchdown Edge Tamer. You guys see these products in pretty much every video that I make. I'm also reaching for a rat tail comb and also an edge brush just to tackle those edges because you know no hairstyle is complete without that as far as I'm concerned. So we're gonna go ahead and start parting. In the first part, I'm gonna make ear to ear just because I wanna separate the front part from the back. So I'm creating two sections, one on top or in the front and then one in the back. So once I got that parted out, I went ahead and took some of this shining jam and used that to straighten the part. What you do is you put that onto the part and then you repart it and it just helps to separate those little tiny hairs out to make the part look even more straight and even more neat. So it's definitely worth doing, especially if you have a kid that has really short hair it'll just help to make those parts a lot neater looking. So now I'm gonna go in with my Cantu leave-in and just moisturize her hair and then we can move on to parting out the individual sections that we're gonna cornrow and moisturizing them with the other products. So now that we have that back section ready to go, I'm gonna split it into two sections. Um, and each of these sections is gonna be parted into three smaller sections which will create our three cornrows. So I went ahead and parted out that first section and now I'm gonna go in with my buttercream and then top that off with the coconut oil. Now I'm adding my edge tamer to the sides of the cornrow just to make it as sleek as possible. Then I'll just detangle and start to cornrow that first section. And I did also go ahead and clip the sides of her hair away just so that it wouldn't get entangled in the cornrow as I was trying to braid. And I just wanted to take a second to talk about how important it is to be gentle with your kid's hair. Um, especially when they're little, little like this because it just really makes a difference in how willing they are to let you do their hair and how often you're able to do it and how much you actually enjoy doing it and how much they enjoy letting you do it. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty important. So be as gentle as possible instead of just tugging and pulling at their hair. You really wanna make sure that you're making it as enjoyable as possible. Give them a snack, give them something to concentrate on other than the fact that you're doing their hair. In this case, I gave her my phone. I just let her play with it while I do her hair. It's, it's worth it for me to give her whatever she wants in the moment just to get it done and so that she just doesn't hate the process. On the contrary, she actually loves to have her hair done. She asked me constantly to do her hair. She's like, I want my hair done, I want my hair done. So I that makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right. So I love that she loves to get her hair done. Um, and hopefully your daughter will too. So just keep that in mind when you're tackling this task. I know it's a chore. I know that we don't always feel like doing it, but it's much more worth it and it's much more enjoyable not only for them, but also for you if they don't mind when you do it. So just wanted to share my two cents. Now let's get back to the tutorial. So the first side is done and clipped away. Now I'm gonna move on to the second side and do the exact same thing. And I also wanted to mention that once I got to the end of the corn rowing part, I decided to twist the ends as opposed to braiding them just to make it easier to take down and because twists give you more volume than braids. And I wanted her little puffs on top to be as full as possible. So I went ahead and finished up the back and now I moved to the front and the process is exactly the same in the front. So I'm splitting that front section into two sections. And then instead of doing three sections in the front, I'm gonna do four only because, um, just because I felt like it looked better on her hair in particular. But if your kid has longer hair, you could definitely still do three sections in the front. It was just a matter of personal preference in this case. If her hair was longer, I definitely would have done three just to cut down on the amount of work that I had to do. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we'll talk next steps.
so now we are officially done braiding and what you want to do next is gather all the braids on each side into a little bun accessories are up to you you could do bows you could do a headband you could do some beads like I'm gonna do you could do pretty much anything because anything will look cute and it would definitely elevate this hairstyle so I decided to add a couple of these little beads that I got on Amazon I'll link them below as well as these elastic hairbands that I got from Dollar Tree and I showed you guys these in my last vlog but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and create a ponytail with the elastic and then add two beads to one of the twists and then create a little bun So this looks perfectly fine and you could definitely stop here if you're not not really into styling the edges and all that and if you've seen some of my other videos sometimes I don't style Cody's edges sometimes I'll just leave them as is but with Corey I feel like she really needs it because her hair is just really short so it just adds like a little bit more girliness to it it just makes it look a little bit cuter and because her hair is so short she has so many baby hairs so it's just the perfect environment for styling her edges so I always do it on her even if it's just like the slightest amount and I just feel like it makes all the difference in the world so for her edges I did use the edge tamer because I wanted a, a stronger hold and even with that they still didn't last the full day um, she is pretty rough so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and continue to style her edges and then we'll do the final look and you guys will be on your way So that is it for this hairstyle. I think it turned out so cute. She loved it. As you can see, she's all up in the mirror as usual. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you already know what to do. Give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.